Hello everyone. I wanted to come on here and give you a quick fall shadow scents hooded eye tutorial. So these are the colors I'm going to do today. So this is Whisper Pink. This is Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. It's really very like shimmery. I'm going to use that to highlight. Rose Gold Glitter, which is really awesome. <clears throat> That's a heavier glitter. Garnet, a matte brown, and then Pink Posy, which I also used um, on my cheeks as blush. So I'm going to just get right into it. I'm going to start with an all over color and get that applied real quick and then I'm going to go into the rest of it. So I'm going to take some of my Whisper Pink. With this a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm going to kind of put it more lower and then I'm going to carry it all the way up. So I'm just using kind of a flat round brush. And just kind of go back and forth, get everything really spread apart. Cause like I said, this, I want to get all over my eye. I want to use it as a highlight right under my brow and as a nice light base for the rest of my makeup. So get it on there really nice. Same thing, both, both eyes, like I said, right under that brow. And then we're gonna go over this. So most of this is gonna be covered except for the highlight up top and then some of the highlight in the bottom. Okay, looks crazy. Yes, I realize you can blend a little bit with your fingers if you need I'm to. I'm gonna start building some depth with my garnet. So I'm gonna do this with this brush light right here. It's a little bit um, more concentrated excuse me, than the other brush. And I'm gonna actually put some of this garnet in the outer corner and inner corner, and then do kind of a flash in the middle. So I'm just kind of pressing this in there, right where I want that to be, and then I'll have a different blend color. But I wanna keep this pretty intense, and then we can come back and intensify it a little bit further. Let me put this outer one on over here. And then I always like to make sure I keep with a high angle on the outside. It keeps my eyes looking more awake and open. And then always look for balance between the two eyes. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just creating the depth on the inside and the outside right now. Put a little bit of garnet. And you still want to kind of try and keep it soft. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my pink posy. That one got a little far over. So these, <clears throat> excuse me, these are really nice because they take about three minutes to set up so you don't have to worry about them setting right away and you having to move quickly. So I'm going to use a bigger brush for this one. I got my pink posy. I wiped it off and then I'm just going to pick up a little bit on the end of my brush and then just go right over that garnet and then over. Here's where I kind of like to tilt my head back so that I can see that area I'm working on. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more and just like a sweeping motion back and forth. We're gonna do the same on this side. So yeah, again, I just kind of soften with my fingers if I need to. Or sometimes fingers are just easier because they're clean and they're there. Okay. So we kind of have a nice balance. I'm gonna go and add a little more. So this we want to look like kind of like a glow. Yeah. Now I'm gonna add my rose gold glitter and I'm gonna add that right on top of this. So we're really like creating this glow right here. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and just press it in. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the garnet in there. So again, rose gold glitter. So with the glitter colors, honestly, I like to apply them more this way because I want them to be a very full coverage. Now there is a um, tropical orchid glitter. I love that. I actually like to use as a contour color on my eyes. So that one, I tend to not um, use this way unless I want that intensity of glitter. <clears throat> I'm sorry, of color also. So big difference. Okay, so just pressing that in Okay, and then I'm gonna go back with my same brush because like I said, I wanna add a little bit more of the garnet in the inside and the outside. So, kind of taking that as a shadow over. So I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, okay, so let's do a little bit more over here. So I kind of do almost like a V in this corner here. it to that side. Okay, so now I'm going to just take them both and make sure they're softened in the corners there. I'm going to take a Q-tip. Like I said, you have about three minutes for these to completely set. So you can wipe them off before then, but after that, they're gonna be a lot harder to remove. So I have very hooded eyes. And if you're watching this, you probably do too. The trick with hooded eyes, everything we do has to be a little bit more extreme. So if I put a line, if I go like this and I put my liner on like this, and then I set my eye down, my eyeliner now becomes this down here, which what that does is that makes our eyes look more low set on the sides, which is not something that anybody wants. If your eyes are higher on the sides, yes, you can do something like that. Do it straight out. You're good to go. You're golden. Your eyes are actually what we're searching for. So what I like to do is do a very high angle, keep my shadow at a very high angle, and then use that angle as a guide for my liner. And then that kind of makes things a little bit easier for you. So I'm gonna go in and do my liner up top real quick. Do I need a little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna actually take a little bit more pink posy and add just a little bit more depth right by that garnet. Right in between, yeah, yeah, there we go. And just kind of blend it out on both sides. Keep the depth in the corner and then softly work it over. Okay, so I'm gonna take, if this is actually like a lip brush. I don't use lip brushes for lip brushes. I'm gonna take some garnet. I'm gonna take a little bit on the end of that. The reason I'm doing a lip brush is because I want it to be kind of more smudgy and wider. So I'm just kind of taking that and softly blending it back and forth all the way across my eye and like I said I want this to be more smudged so now I'm going to take and turn it on its side and then really kind of blend that and soften that and then there you go okay so I'm also going to take some of my rose gold glitter to right in the center like I did up top and so now whenever not only when I close my eyes, but um, when my eyes are open, you still kind of see that glow in the center there, and that's kind of what I was going for. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my sandstone pearl shimmer, 
And I'm gonna actually take my flat brush, pull a little bit on there, and then I'm gonna add this glow right here in the center of my eyes. This I really, really love to do. It's just, it's that glow, it's that kind of extra something to your eyes. So it's really, really pretty. I do this for weddings, especially brides. And it's kind of like that, oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. And you know, you kind of don't really know what it is, but it's, it's the glow. So yeah, add this in the center. Just make sure everything's kind of softly blended out because you don't want to look like you have any like really harsh lines in there. This is all like to create the illusion of depth where we don't have depth and then um, kind of bring things forward, make our eyes look and feel bigger. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, Sandstone Pro. So this is not the shimmer because I'm gonna do it under my eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit kind of going right under what I just did and then you know you can take a beauty blender you can do whatever you like I actually like to do this especially when I already have my liner in underneath because it's a little bit more precise and you can kind of get in there a little bit better just kind of blend that out prefer to kind of pat it in when you move it around and then we'll go in with our liner and then some mascara and be set. So yeah, like I said, there's so many different ways of like actually applying or, you know, moving the makeup around your face. There's no right way. This is just the way that I do it. But I really hope you enjoy this eye because I'm super sick for digging it. Okay, so I'm going to take, this is Black Isense Liner. It is waterproof, smudge proof. It is awesome, especially for hooded eyes. I used to always have where I would have my liner on, I'd go throughout the day. <clears throat> I'm a girl that sweats. I'm a girl, we're in St. Louis, so there's a lot of humidity. So humidity gets your makeup, it gets your hair, all of that. And I would have where throughout the day, my eyeliner would be on the top of my eyes, which is it's not a fun look. It's not a cute look. <laughs> Especially when you don't find out until you go to the bathroom. So <clears throat> this is not that. It is a liquid. A lot of times that scares people. But it's got a really thin brush. And I like to use the brush for me. So don't make it harder on yourself. So put your brush at the angle you want your liner to be. Set it on the side. And then add a little line. Come back. Add the other side and then you can come back and adjust however you want and then I literally just lay it down and pull it slightly over and that's that like I said same angle set that first line in there You know, there's always going to be one that's going to be super easy. And then there's going to be a side. It's going to take a couple more strokes and a little bit more time. But that's okay. I mean, you can be in a hurry. But you'll get used to it the more and more you do it. So, no worries. Okay. We are pretty glam early. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more mascara. So I'm going to take my lash separator and then I'll just use this sometimes to give it a little extra lift. And then, you know, if it needs separation, you can do it and just angle the brush a little bit more towards your lash line. Instead of this, I just kind of press against it. Okay. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. 
If you love it, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to see your duplication of it if you do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.